All right, so the first two episodes of X-Men 97 just came out, and wow, they absolutely blew me away. All my expectations were met and exceeded. It picks up off of the old series, like, right away. I think there might even be, like, a couple month gap or whatever, but it's essentially right after that final episode of Season 4 of the original X-Men animated series, and it's so damn good! It's got a 100% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, 95% audience score, and honestly, after watching two episodes, I'm struggling to find negatives. It was as close as perfect as you can get this thing. The first episode was amazing. We're put right back into the action. We've got the Friends of Humanity uh, trying to find Sunspot, and then the team saves him. The Sentinels are being used again, and then uh, the Friends of Humanity are making, like, Sentinel weapons that they can actually use to fight against the mutants. It was just really, really cool. The animation is fantastic. It's not perfect, but it's very, very good. It's obviously a big step up from the original because that was a long time ago. This animation is a lot more crisp, a lot more fluid. And I would say the animation specifically on Cyclops is amazing. When he's using his optic blast, it looks so damn crispy on Disney+. Plus. I love the team dynamic, the story, bringing everyone back together, Magneto at the end of the first episode, letting everyone know that, hey, Xavier trusted me with the team, the mansion, the money, everything. And then they have to deal with that in episode two. Oh my god, like, it was genuinely just so damn good. And I love that Cyclops is finally getting the attention he deserves. He is so likable in the first two episodes here as a leader, as a friend, as a uh, a rival of Wolverine, like, it's, j he's just written really well, he's really interesting, he's charismatic, and I love Cyclops, that's a character I've always liked ever since the original animated series, the video games, the comics, everything, I really liked him, but for whatever reason in, uh, some of the more recent stuff, like the Fox X-Men movies and all that, they didn't give him a lot to do. And just in the first two episodes alone of X-Men 97, I think they highlighted Cyclops as the leader of the team and his struggle of, you know, taking up Xavier's uh, spot in the X-Men and being the leader. And then at the same time, his wife is pregnant with a baby and he's thinking that he's got to leave the team now because that's what Gene wants. And he's like, I don't know, you know, he's conflicted. And I like that. There's a lot for Cyclops to do in these first two episodes. And then on top of that, he doesn't trust Magneto and... Man, he's just written really well. Episode 2 was awesome too. We get Magneto essentially being a good guy, but people don't trust him because obviously he's like the big bad from the X-Men animated series. So why would people trust him right away? He's like saving uh, humans and mutants. Then he goes on trial at the UN. Then the Executioner and the Friends of Humanity show up and it just turns into an all-out brawl. And then Magneto kind of loses faith in Xavier's dream there. And I thought he was going to you know, completely cave in and just go full on evil again. And I like how they subverted my expectation of that happening. He ended up becoming good and letting them know like, hey, I am here for the right reasons. I don't want to go down the path that we were already on. And quickly, I almost forgot in episode one, that fight scene against Master Mold and the other Sentinels, chef's kiss, absolutely peak. That combo move with Wolverine and Gambit where he's charging up his claws and then he bounces off of uh, Morph as Blob and just zoom, just chops off Master Mold's head. I was like, ah! Absolutely epic. I just love these characters. I love the ensemble. I love the animation. A lot of the voice actors are back. Like everything about the first two episodes was very, very good. And then the ending of episode two, Storm loses her powers. Obviously, she's going to get them back and probably be the leader of the X-Men when Scott and Jean kind of go off to raise Nathan. Um, but, you know, she lost her powers. It was really emotional, even though we all know she's going to get her powers back. And then uh, seeing uh, the real Jean Grey pop up at the X-Mansion is like, I need the X-Men. And then uh, you can see the Jean clone, Madeline Pryor, is kind of like, oh, crap. It is going to make for some great drama having the real Jean back already, like in the second episode. I thought it was going to be revealed that Madeline Pryor was the clone maybe like halfway through the season or something, but I guess they're doing it a lot sooner, which is going to make for some great conflict, some great stories. I just can't wait. Episode one and two was absolutely amazing. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I genuinely can't think of a negative. Like, I don't know.
Everything from a great episode of TV was there. The writing, the animation, the characters, the story. Everything was there. There's really nothing to complain about. Like, maybe some of the voice actors, you know, they, they do come across as uh, old because, you know, it's almost 30 years past since the original show. But, you know, like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Like, I noticed Wolverine and uh, Rogue definitely sound a lot older. But that's fine. It's not really like a big deal or anything like that. I'm just glad that they got the original voice actors back in the first place. But yeah, guys, X-Men 97 is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't watched the original series, make sure you do. And uh, if you even did watch that original series, I would even recommend watching the last couple of episodes and then get into X-Men 97. So it all kind of flows really well. That's what I did. And it felt awesome to watch it in that sequence. I can't wait for episode three now. The drama between Madeline Pryor and Jean. Oh my God. Definitely check this out on Disney+. Plus. And let me know what you guys thought about it. Did you like episode one and two as much as me or did you have some problems with it? Let me know.